follow me on social media, I decided to do an assumptions about me video. I've seen them going around and I kind of thought it was just the same thing as a regular Q&A, but they're not. It's what, it's almost like what people's impressions are of you that they wouldn't normally tell you to your face, um, but they get to tell you and then you get to correct or tell the truth of those assumptions through a video. So that's what I decided to do. And on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, I asked for you guys' assumptions, and I got quite a few. Also, what I'm going to do is um, put everyone's Instagram name across the screen somewhere here. Um, just to do like a little shout out and just to give them credit for sending me in an assumption. And there are some people who sent me like multiple as well, so let's just jump right into it. Also, I am so bad at pronouncing names, so if I pronounce your name wrong. I am so sorry, I'm just letting you know now in advance. Okay, so the first one is Mari Cruz Avalos. Avalos. I'm pretty sure I messed it up. Assumption. In high school, we rode the same bus at the same time. I thought you were stuck up because of how you always looked mean. But now I've been seeing your YouTube videos and now that you are a mother, you seem like you've changed. Now being a mother myself, I feel like people change for the better. By the way, I love your YouTube videos and your baby is so gorgeous. First of all, thank you so, so much. Thank you for your support and thank you for the compliment. Um, I do remember you, by the way, I do. You're always so quiet and so shy. I feel like maybe I was shy, maybe that's why I never spoke either. But I get this all the time. I've got a few where people are like, you look mean, you look stuck up. I thought you were going to be mean when I first met you. I don't know what it is. I just think it's my face. Like, I swear to you, I promise you, if you knew me throughout high school, if you would have come up and said hi to me, I would have sparked up a conversation right there. Like, I would not have ignored you. I don't bite. I promise you, I'm not mean. I don't know. I think I was just really shy and I just kind of kept to myself. I mean, I was a cheerleader, so when I was around my team, like, I felt most comfortable or around, you know, my friends. But like in the mornings when we had to sit in the cafeteria before school started or riding the bus or something, I don't know, it's just like, what was I going to say? So I really kept to myself. So I'm going to say your assumption is wrong. I am not mean. I think I just look that way. I think it's just like RBF, honestly. Look. That's just like my normal face. I don't know. Maybe it's the makeup. Maybe it's the eyebrows. Maybe because I used to arch them so much. I don't know. Maybe that's why I looked mean. But that was assumption number one. Okay, so I got multiple assumptions from Body Brina, which I know you in real life. Sabrina, hello. Um, you like sharing responsibility with your hubby for Ayla, but get jealous and want her back, lol. Yes, that is 100% true. I don't know. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm with her 24-7. We've never been away from each other and I just feel like when other people have her and she starts crying or something, I already know what to do and they're still trying to figure it out. And this goes for like anyone, not just Tyler. I don't know. I just feel like, okay, I know what to do. She's hungry. She's tired. She needs a diaper change. Anything like I'm just spot on that I'm like, okay, give her back. But yeah, that I, that's true. I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to Ayla. Her second assumption was, you secretly were hoping it was a girl before you knew Ayla's gender. Yes, 100%. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so before I knew what Ayla was, before I knew she was a girl, um, I've always wanted a girl. But then Tyler was like, oh, I hope it's a boy, I hope it's a boy. And I would have been ecstatic either way. So I think I changed my mind and said that I was hoping it was a boy because I really wanted him to get what he wanted, you know? Because I would have been ecstatic either way, and I'm sure that he would have too, but I just really wanted him to get what he wanted. But deep down, no, I really wanted a girl, and I was hoping it was a girl. And for so long, I convinced myself that it was going to be a boy. So when the little smoke came out for our gender reveal... Oh my god! <laughs> Um, pink, my face, like my jaw literally dropped. I had tears, like I was in so much shock. I was in so much shock and I say to Ayla all the time, I say, um, I'm so happy you're a girl. I'm so happy you're a girl because for the longest we were like rooting for a boy. Um, and her third assumption was you aren't typical 
for your age group much more mature, less drinking and partying? Yes. Um, not that there's anything wrong with drinking and partying. I think you should have all the fun in the world. I think you should do whatever you please. Um, I'm just not that type of person. For me, it's just not fun. I don't see anything wrong with it when someone else is having fun and doing it. But for me, I just don't like to. Um, and I mean, I did get married at 19, so I do feel like my maturity level is up here compared to most people. Marriage really taught me a lot, so I did have to mature a lot between 19 and now 21 years old and being a wife and a mother. So I will agree on that, but I don't think it's because everyone else is immature. I just think I grew up a lot faster. Chelsea Rin? Ryan? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm going to put it down below for you. Her assumption was, I'm going to assume that you have a dream to make your own success and not work for others. So, um, yes and no. I mean, I just recently started YouTube and trying to create my own little brand here with my YouTube and Instagram. Just trying to share my world within marriage and motherhood and just things of that nature. So, I will say yes for the most part, but then no because if my YouTube doesn't take off or if it doesn't turn out the way that I hope to, I'll still do it as a hobby because I love it. Um, but I wouldn't mind, you know, getting my dream job but still working for someone else. So I'm just kind of in the air right now. I feel like I'm at a good point where I can kind of sit back and relax and figure out slowly but surely what I want to do for the rest of my life. TK underscore, which is Taylor. I know you in real life too. Hello. She says, you are always in a positive mindset. Um, I'm going to say no. I mean, I'd like to say in a perfect world that I'm positive all the time. And I think for the most part I try to be. But I'm human. I have my times where I doubt myself, where I doubt others, where I'm just thinking negative. Um, I get really scared of like everything. I get scared of going out in public. I get scared of driving. I get scared of being home alone at night. I just get this anxiety about it and on my mind just starts going crazy and I'm like well what if someone breaks in or what if I get into a car accident or what if God forbid something happens to me or Ayla and Tyler's not home like I just think of worst case scenario and I kind of drive myself crazy and I start thinking really negative and I try really hard to work on it because I know it's out of control and I know it's not healthy for me sometimes I just can't control it I just can't help it but I do try to like distract myself with other things like watching YouTube videos or watching my shows, playing with Ayla, things like that. Belize HT, which is actually my cousin that I've never ever met. She's a twin. She lives in Puerto Rico. We connected recently um, through Facebook and we've been Facebook friends and we message back and forth and she has been supporting me since day one with YouTube. Like she's the one that actually is one of the people that encouraged me like please do YouTube, please do YouTube. And when I finally jumped the gun and I did it. She has been supporting me through day one. So thank you so much and I hope that we get to meet someday. That'd be awesome. Um, her assumption is that you are a Christian. Um, I mean, maybe? I don't know how to really answer that. I don't really go to church and I know that going to church isn't what makes you or doesn't make you part of a certain religion. But I'm really not all that religious. I do believe in God. I do pray a lot. But that's as far as it really goes. I've never studied the Bible. I've never went to Sunday school. Um, when I was young, I was baptized as Catholic. But ne neither me or my family practiced the religion. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it really just depends on what each and every person's definition of a Christian is. I wouldn't define myself as one. But maybe someone else who's just like me does define themselves as one. As one. So, I think it's just kind of give or take. Adorable key, which is uh, Ked Kedra? Kedra. Kedra. I know I'm, I'm not saying your name right. Um, I know you somewhat. We haven't met in person, but you're here in Jacksonville. And you are always hyping me up on Facebook, so thank you. That I'm shy, timid, I don't let many people in, and I'm not a talkative person, lol. Um, yes and no. I just think, it, give or take, it depends on who I'm with, the environment that I'm in, and like who's around me. 
So for example, when I'm with my friends and family, I won't shut up. Like I'll just talk and talk and talk. My mom gets so annoyed with me. She'll be like, all right, I, I gotta go. Like we'll be on the phone and if I just talk too much, she's like, all right, Deja, I gotta go because I will talk her head off. But when I'm around Tyler's friends, I mean, most of them are all guys and they're all Marines and they're talking about their guy thing over there. And I'm just kind of here like, oh, hello. I'm like, I don't really say much because what is there for me to say? I mean, I try to, you know, have conversation or if they talk to me, I'll talk back. But for the most part, I just kind of let him do all the talking because I don't really know what to say. And I don't know. Sometimes, yeah, I do get shy and I do get timid. It just depends on who I'm around. But I will say when I was younger, oh, my God, I was so shy. Um, I don't really think I had very many friends. Like, I, if you talk to me, I would not talk to you. I would hide behind my mom. I wouldn't talk to you. I'd hide, like, it was bad. But I've grown out of that a lot. And now, like, even in public, a stranger will come up to me and start talking to me about Ayla, and I will sit there and talk to them for three hours. But, again, that's, like, a topic that I'm comfortable talking about because it's something that I know about. Make sense? So it just depends. All right, so the next assumption is from Autumn, which her Instagram name will be down here somewhere, underscore messenger. She gave me a couple, so let's start with the first one. It is, I assume that you love your blonde hair because me too, it's cute. Um, I do love my blonde hair. I've actually had it for two years now. And so I got it done right after I got married and right before I moved here to Jacksonville. And it was like, white it was almost white if I can find a picture I'll insert it right here for you but um yeah and actually recently around my birthday which is in February um I was wanting to just dye it all black all back brown I just wanted it to be like my natural hair color um and I almost made the appointment to do it but I just didn't make the appointment and I'm not mad about it. I don't know why. I go through phases where I just want change. I think all girls go through that with their hair. And, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I kept it, especially for the summer. Maybe I will finally get rid of the blonde because, I mean, it has been two years now. Maybe I'll finally get rid of it, um, you know, this fall or something when I can do a darker color. Autumn also says, I assume you need some junk food today. That's hilarious that you say that because, I kid you not, as I'm recording right now, Tyler just pulled in and he has Dunkin for me. I got a caramel iced coffee with a Boston cream donut. I assume you're ready for summer. Yes, I am so ready for summer. Listen, I don't know what has changed in me, but recently I've just been so ready for the warmer months. Like I'm usually a fall winter type person. I love wearing the hats and the scarves and being all warm and and cozy but now I'm just like oh my god get the cold away I want to just have fun at the beach I want to take Ayla to the pool I think that's really what it is for me is like I'm just so excited to experience all this summer fun with her that I just can't wait for it I think had it not been for Ayla I'd be over the summer because I hate being hot I assume you love Target yes Autumn um, also says I assume you miss Greenville but only a little bit lol yes <laughs> Um, I don't know. When I first moved to Jacksonville, I hated it. Like, I absolutely hated it. Every chance we got to visit home, we took it. Like, we did not like it here. But two years in, I mean, you learn to make a place your home. And I'm going to miss it. I'm going to be really, really sad. I'm going to miss this house. I'm going to miss Jacksonville, period. I mean, this is where we learn to be one this is where we learn to be husband and wife this is where we grew our family this is where we got our husky this is where a lot of things happen for us a lot of firsts so to be leaving it is going to be really hard and really sad and i don't want to move if we could stay here for just a couple more years i'd be so for it but unfortunately we have to leave and it's okay but she also says i assume you need girl time um uh, yes I do, always, what girl doesn't, especially a mom, but um, Tyler's really good of like, here, take my card, take my truck, go get your nails done, go get Duncan, and I'll stay home with Ayla, and he's done that a couple times now, and like, let me tell you, it's amazing, like, you really do need that time for yourself, and if it wasn't for that, I mean, I don't know what I'd do, <laughs> I think I'd go crazy. Girl in general, but also as a mom, like you really do need that time, so for him to give me that time and to just be so understanding of it, I'm really grateful. Okay, 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce your Instagram name, but your first name is Devin, which I love your name, by the way. I love that name for a girl. I think it is so cute. She says, back in high school, I assumed you were stuck up, lol. I don't know why everyone says this. I think it's just the RBF, honestly. I promise you, if you would have just come up to say hi, like we would have been best friends, I swear. I promise, guys, I'm not mean. I swear I'm not. I think it was just like my eyebrows are really pointy and I wore a lot of makeup. I promise I would not have been mean to you. Okay guys, so that was all of the assumptions. Um, it's so funny that everyone thinks I'm mean. I promise you I'm not mean. Thank you guys for watching this one of my short videos. Um, I have lots of other videos that I'd like to do instead of just daily vlogs. I mean, I could always do a daily vlog. But I have lots of other baby and marriage related videos that I have coming up. So stay tuned for those. But yeah, please, I love hearing from you guys. DM me, message me, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all my socials down below. I think I'm going to start doing like a question in each video um, so I can hear from you guys. So I could give you something to write about. So for this one starting off, um... Leave me a comment down below on what is your favorite video or which is your least favorite video and if you'd like to, tell me why. Um, I like to get feedback from you guys, so just do that and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!